Hey guys, welcome to PineScript tutorial video series and in this series we're going to go over a bunch of stuff related to PineScript which will help you understand and make your own scripts and own indicators and also do your own strategies using algorithms. So here I am in the trading view. I'm already logged in and I've got one of the charts open that is your USD chart. Down here at the bottom you can see this tab that says Pine Editor. You can click on this tab to open up the Pine Script writing area. We will be writing the majority of code here and you will be using this editor a lot uh, like every time whenever you write code for Pine Script. So what is script? Script basically contains functions and variables. So functions contain calculations and they do calculations and uh, give us some output which we can use and store in the form of variables. Every Pine script requires some kind of study or strategy function call and in the end execution call which in this case is the plot action call. And we can actually add this script to the chart by clicking the button here add to chart and it's gonna show up here so as you can see it plot it plotted all the opens of these candles if we want to save this script we can go ahead and click on save and it's gonna open up if uh, we can name it the way we want we're gonna just call it practice tutorial one and you can access it later from here and uh, here it is that we just saved so you can click on it and it will show up and fill the editor area you can also change the name by clicking here and you can rename it the way you want you can also make changes in the script and type whatever you want and let's say you uh, type this and uh, this is basically a comment notation which we're going to go over in the next videos but for the for this video we are just going to explore the pine editor accessibility and how you can access it and use it and as you can see when I typed here it put a red star there which means that the script is unsaved so if we go ahead and click on save it's gonna save the script and this red star is going to go away so let's save it and as you can see as I clicked on the save the red star went away and the pine editor has a very nice version control in it we need to mention whenever we write a script we need to mention which version are we going to use there are basically four versions up till now and there are some minor and in uh, th script 3 and 4 like pine script 3 version 3 and pine script version 4 there were some major differences so these versions are not backward compatible so like if i wrote a code in pine 4 pine script version 4 and i want to access it using pine script version 3 or 2 or 1 it won't compile the compiler just won't work and same goes for other versions like if i wrote a script in version 3 so whenever i go ahead and compile the script the script is not going to work so we have to pay very a huge amount of attention to whenever we write code it's always better to write code in the latest version like uh, right now the latest version is version 4 so we're going to use this version but you can also write uh, the code in version 3 or 2 if you want to but that is not recommended unless it's very necessary so always use the version 4 and if we don't mention the version at all like if we skip this line and then we save and add it to a chart it's going to plot okay but uh, now which version did it use it actually used the pine script version 1 so when we don't give it the version uh, by ourselves it's going to take the version 1 and write that code or compile the code in the form of version 1 so we should always write the version and then we should proceed towards writing our code you can also access the history of your editing so if i click here and click here it's going to take me to the first time when the, I opened up the script so it saves all the versions of our editing 
history and is, uh, we can access them from this here by clicking here so let's go towards what we editing edited the latest and here we can access that and if i want to open up one of my saved scripts i can come here and click on my scripts and it's gonna show all the scripts that i have saved and we can also open up the scripts that are available to us from the built-in trading view dashboard and we can open any of these scripts so let's say if we open up the macd it's gonna pop the pine editor so let me go ahead and add this to our chart and let's see i'm gonna remove this so as you can see here it plotted the macd and we can always open up the scripts from here and here if i want to open up a new script so i can open here and go towards and click on this my blank indicator and it, it's gonna show up the script as a blank one so these are by default and we're going to you as i told you that the script contains one study that is either script or uh, for uh, indicator or strategy and one output function call that is the plot called here so if i close that and we can access the new blank indicator from here and we can also access the new blank strategy from here so this is a blank strategy it's not going to do anything but if we plot it so you noticed it didn't plot because uh, there is no output plot function it's going to execute the strategy so we're going to go over the strategies as well in the later stages so let's open up the blank editor for now so for the reference here let's go ahead and open up a, a default built-in script that is RSI so let me go ahead and click on this and it's gonna fill the this with the strategy RSI so and if you're not familiar with the RSI you can go ahead and click on this indicators and type relative strength index and click on this so this is what is available to public domain and you can access the RSI from indicators in trading view so now we have inputs here and uh, we can click on this setting so here are the uh, inputs that we can change and here are the styles styles will enable us to change the things like colors line colors line width and stuff like that and we can also change the line styles from here in this from the styles and as for the script for this indicator we can click on these two curly brackets and if we click here it's going to take us to the source code of this indicator and this is the same exact thing that we just saw but uh, now we have a little lock icon here so which and means that this script is locked by trading view and it is only read only but we can copy it and paste it in a blank script and do whatever we want with it uh, like we can experiment it and we can change it the way we want to and uh, let me just say copy and let me save it and uh, let me go ahead and close this one so now we can edit that but previously you saw we were not able to edit it because it was built in now we have copied the script and put it in our pine editor so from here we can edit the script the way we want to so i'm gonna just go ahead and save this and add it to a chart so this is exactly the same thing that we opened up from here so in order to ensure that these are the same like this script and what we opened up from here is same let's go ahead and open up the rsi again so let me see relative strength index and if we click that so here you can see both of them are same and the code for this again will be locked because it is the built-in script in trading view and if you like some script you can click on this star and it's gonna put it and pin it to this script area and uh, you can access my scripts and here you can see it's star and which means you have favorited it if you want to share this script to the public you can go ahead and click on this publish script and you have to click on continue publishing in order to publish this make this script available to the public but it needs to be on your chart before you do that if you need any type of help for 
your scripts or your coding you can access the help from here and from you can go access the pine script documentation pine script references and pine script reference pop up so you can also access the help from our pine editor if i go ahead hover over to this so here in this uh, bubble it shows me what study means and we can do this for every type of built-in function that we have and it's going to explain but if you want to study it a bit deeper you can click control or command on mac and click on that script and it's going to open up the pine script reference manual so from here you can study all about input function and it's, it explains very beautifully about how you can use it and what are the f features that it offers and in order to access the reference manual in a separate window you can come here and go ahead to reference manual here and it's going to open up the pine script reference manual so you can also go through this reference manual along the way as we are going through the course so i would highly encourage you to go ahead and open up the pine editor and just play around with it it's not going to break anything you're just going to experiment the things by yourself so the best thing best way to learn also is by practicing it and if you have any questions relating regarding this video that we discussed you can comment down below or reach out to us on forexp.co thank you